holding pressure on him to try to stop the bleeding. Before the 35-year-old man could get up the stairs to his apartment, Kim Spriggs says he had to rest on the handrail, dying in front of her family's eyes. This whole area right here was a crime scene. I know that they were looking for an exit wound when they were here. I have a son who's in the Marines, and I expect something to happen there. I don't expect it to happen at my front door. Around 10 p.m. last night, Spriggs says she saw about 10 people running back and forth on her walkway with guns. Her husband helped care for her upstairs neighbor shot up to two times in the back until an ambulance brought him to SAMC in critical condition. Oh, shootings are a pretty normal thing around here. Um, it was just a little, hit a little close to home because it was right here at our front door. Most of the time they happen in the back. Jose Salazar says he saw the group of men fighting and shooting at each other at the southeast side apartment complex off South Cross. Two others went to Northeast Baptist Hospital, one shot in the leg, the other in the chest. Both are under arrest. One is 20-year-old Jodice Clayton, who was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Police say this started when the victim broke up a fight between two girls. Witnesses say one came back with reinforcements. The owner of this car didn't want to go on camera, but tells me this isn't the first one he's had shot up like this. He says it was the same way, a fight outside, and he and the other residents are tired of it. I mean, they have, they have little ones. This is not how we want our evenings to go. Knocking on the man's door, no one is home, but you can tell we found it. Josh Gurnick, KSAT 12 News.